Well, welcome to this talk. Now, I've been asked hundreds of times, can people catch Omicron twice? So we know, for example, there's BA1 Omicron, which was the original strain of Omicron. And now we've got increasing prevalence of BA2 Omicron. So if I've caught BA1 Omicron, am I immune from BA2 Omicron or can I catch it again? Well, the answer is you can catch it again, but it's very, very unlikely. And I couldn't actually answer this question until we've just got this new data from Denmark, which, of course, is leading the world in this study. So let's just have a look at this. Can I catch Omicron twice? The answer is yes, but it's very unlikely. Now, the occurrence and significance of this is Omicron BA1 infection followed by BA2 infection. Is that, is that possible? Is that going to happen? Now, the answer here is from the Department of Viruses and Microbiological Special Diagnostics, and it's the State Serum Institute in Copenhagen, which is a world-leading authority. Check it out. Now, this is a preprint, but it's from all these leading scientists in this institution. Omicron carries numerous mutations in key regions and is associated with increased transmissibility in immune and immune escape. We know that for Omicron. But there's Omicron BA1 and there's Omicron BA2, which is now taking over. Whether BA2 specifically can escape the natural immunity acquired shortly after BA1 infection is the question. Now, the uh, Danish uh, Serum Institute collected data from 1.8 million uh, cases of people that had infection that were diagnosed, so they were cases. Uh, November the 22nd, you know, 2021, until February the 11th, 2022. So this is over the Omicron period in Denmark. Individuals with two positive samples more than 20 and less than 60 days apart. So is this recent reinfection with Omicron possible? Now, from a total of 187 reinfections that they identified, which is a pretty low number, actually, we identified 47 instances of BA2 reinfections shortly after a BA1 infection. So from 100 and uh, so from 1.8 million, 1 1.8 million cases, uh, 47 did get reinfected, and 1,799,853 didn't. So we see it's possible, but remarkably unlikely, remarkably unlikely. And we have quite a lot of data that's indicating the longevity of naturally acquired immunity is at least a year and could possibly be a lot more than that. We know that people that caught SARS coronavirus one back in 2003 are still immune in 2020. I haven't heard any follow up data after that, but that's 17 years. So that's looking very promising. The people that did get reinfected, the 47 instances out of the 1.8 million that did get reinfected, mostly in young unvaccinated individuals with mild disease, not resulting in hospitalisation or death. In conclusion, we provide evidence, which of course is what we're all about here, that Omicron BA2 reinfections do occur shortly after BA1 infections, but are rare, and I would add phenomenally rare, 47 demonstrated cases out of 1.8 million infections. So I think that's uh, actually fairly, uh, fairly encouraging data. Now this graphic is showing the increase of BA2 Omicron in the five Danish regions over time. These are the regions here. And we see this pretty sharp increase from December to February. Now, these dots here are actual data points. So we know that these are correct for the various re uh, various regions. And here's the best fit trend lines that go on that. Now, the dots run out, of course, about here because we haven't got the full data. But when the dots ran out, it was 75% of cases in Denmark were BA2 as opposed to BA1. And it's estimated that... Uh, by about a week ago, by mid-February indeed, it would be 100% of cases in Denmark would actually be BA2. So we see that BA2 has displaced BA1 in Denmark because it's more transmissible. And it's likely that we're going to have a similar trend in the UK and the United States going up to 100% BA2 over time, exactly the same as happened in Denmark. This is actually the latest data we have for England, and of course it's a bit out of date now, but it's what we've got. 
So this is the BA2 here, and this is the BA1 here. Now they're both Omicron, of course, but we are seeing a slight reduction in BA1, the original Omicron, but we're actually seeing an increase in BA2 relatively, the new Omicron. So the prevalence of that is increasing. And because the levels of BA2 are fairly low in England, it's tempting to say that that is why we've got this reduction in cases here. But then when we look at the situation in Northern Ireland, we see that BA2 is becoming much more prominent and is now more prevalent than BA1, which has gone down. It almost looks like BA2 is replacing BA1. And we can't say for sure, but it's tempting to think that that might be part of the reason for this increase in Northern Ireland, as BA2 is more transmissible.